The Private Information Draft Bill will limit the risk of using someone's information against anything via mobile phones and other related gadgets. Hackers are so quick and up to speed with technological innovations and trends to trap their victims. Now that most people, organizations and businesses are opting to using their personal phones to do critical and serious business because of the convenience that comes with it, hackers and other cyber criminals are as well adaptive. This has its costs in monetary values and security related matters. It's therefore imperative that a specific law to curb such crime is adopted. That whomever you give information will be penalized if that information is leaked. Yeah, they open. Like you go and check in a hotel and they ask you your name, your date of birth and whatnot. Because everything now is electronic. That person can pass on this information everywhere all over the world. The other one is going to uh, uh, protect privacy. For example, if you have information on me, it's not for public use. So anybody who passes on the information will be liable. John Saka, the executive director of the National Information Technologies Authority, says the law on mobile phone-related crime would be tracked since at the moment criminals are taking advantage of the gaps in the current legislation. Um, different organizations collect information from citizens and what that bill is going to try and do is we are going to categorize certain pieces of data for which you need to ensure that you secure that information. The bill, if adopted and passed into law, will complement the existing three cyber laws that include the Electronic Signatures Act, Electronic Transactions Act, and the Computer Misuse Act. The Electronic Signatures Act makes provisions for the use of electronic signatures to ensure that transactions are, are carried out in a secure environment. It establishes a public key infrastructure for authenticity and security of documents. The Computer Misuse Act considers all computer operations prone to computer crimes and the Electronic Transactions Act establishes rules that validate and recognize contracts formed through electronic means. It sets default rules for contract formation and governance of electronic contract performance. The fraud uh, which happened in 2013 was 48 million US dollars. The fraud uh, which happened in 2013 was 48 million US dollars. We deal with a, a group of accounts. We have accounts, uh, even the account uh, structure is different in the sense that uh, is, we can set up a VAP account. All the accounts that uh, goes to VAP. Okay? We can set accounts, different group of accounts, in which we can, we can limit the access to, the, to those accounts, for instance. Story compiled by Nabakoza Lydia, NBS Television, Sunset.